always find your way. And since Adrian was leaving with his dad this morning after school, I wanted to give him his gift. And I ended up burning the tortillas because I got distracted with all the Valentine's Day stuff. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Veronica, just in case you guys are new. I started supposedly Doctor. the vlog. Doctor. Doctor? Okay. I started the vlog uh, 100 years ago. I was showing you guys what I ended up making for the kids in Emma's school. I actually um, had to go drop off Adrian at school Where really early go? in the morning. As you guys can tell, I got Adrian like a gift card and chocolates. That's literally what he got. We haven't opened up Emma's little gift bag yet because Anthony wants me to wait until he gets home. But I went to Emma's school. I did a little volunteering in her class for Valentine's Day. So we did that this morning. That's pretty much what we ended up doing all day. Um, we're barely home. It's after school now. We're home. I have to make a cup. I have to go deliver something at my mom's house that some of her friends bought cups for Valentine's Day. So I have to go do that delivery. I'm going to leave Emma with her. And then I have to do another cup delivery. Um, <clears throat> and then that's basically going to be my day. Once we're done at my mom's house, we're going to come back when Anthony's home. We're going to open up the gift basket with Emma. I'll figure I can videotape the rest. I can't really vlog while I'm in Emma's class. I don't want to show any of the other kids or the school or any of that. So um, <clears throat> that's why I pretty much didn't vlog the rest of the day. I didn't even get a chance to take pictures. I wasn't even thinking about like taking pictures of Emma, but she had a good time. She's a little brat, doesn't sit down at all in class, honestly, but she had a good day. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything done that I need to get, feed Emma, and then I'll take off to my mom's house. Please keep my heart and soul strong so i went to my mom's house and little emma stayed over there with her while i'm meeting up some friends to deliver some valentine's day cups that they bought i honestly am so exhausted today i don't know what's been going on with me but the past couple of days i've been super tired like just so exhausted and it's weird because i've been getting good rest so i don't know but where I'm meeting people right now, it's like literally in the middle of downtown Sacramento and it's a lot of homeless and it's pretty ghetto over here. So I'm a little sketched out to be honest, but I left Emma at my mom's house. So I, highly, I feel a little bit less um, anxious, but Anthony should be home by the time we get back home. I'm going to go pick her up for my parents and then go home and then we'll open up her little basket i'm excited to see because she's gonna be really surprised i was telling her it's it's a special day today is valentine's day so she's been saying it's a special day it's valentine's day <laughs> so i think she's gonna be really excited when she sees the little box we have a surprise for emma because it's valentine's day are you excited she's all dirty for my mom's my parents house always she loves being outside so let's take her out and get her the surprise. Surprise for Emma. Surprise, what do you have? Mm -hmm. no. What is it? Is it for your baby? And then we got, we got a lot of popsicle. Mm -hmm. We got Play-Doh. More Play-Doh. Wow. We got pockets. We got a book we can read tonight. This is a good night kiss. And then look. Good. Colors. What else? Oh, heart. heart for your head. This was supposed to be going to school, but I left it in here. And oh, here, you want to open? Squishy. You open? Okay. Do you like your surprise? I got you lots of things. Do you like it? She was so upset when she thought it was no. flour. She's like, bro, this is who you got. <laughs> she got no. mad because Anthony got me flowers and I told her we we're going to get a surprise. So Anthony goes surprise to me for the flowers and she just threw a fit. <laughs> huh. Yeah. She was crying. Look, squishy, squishy. Squishy. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you want Daddy to open that one? Oh. Happy Valentine's Day! Give me a kiss. Hey, Emma got lots of stuff. Lots of toys. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Look at my little artist. Look at how cute she looks, babe. Like, she's like an artist. My little artist. Oh my goodness, how pretty. When it comes to promoting religious freedom in fragile states, Catholic Church has been the Hi right, guys, it is now the next day and I have a disaster at the house. Like, I did not clean up anything yesterday. I was just letting Emma play with her toys out here. I have a mess from, you know, my desk because I did a lot of last minute work yesterday and the day before. So I just have a mess in the living room that I want to clean up. But yesterday was a very, a very good day for Emma. She had a very long day. So I stopped filming after she was done painting her painting because she she was very cranky and just tired because she had a very um, hectic day, long day and exciting day. So she was just really, really tired and she was just kind of cranky the rest of the day. So I just stopped filming. But I'm just going to clean up this huge mess and just film a little bit more today before I end the vlog for you guys. I just got home from the gym. I took Emma to school, went to the gym, worked out. I'm going to clean real quick, take a shower and then start working. After I take a shower, I got to start working. There's some stuff that I got to pick up, um, some things that I have to do online, some bills that I have to pay. So it was just the uh, very busy day because Monday the kids didn't have school and then yesterday I pretty much went to the classroom all day so I haven't been able to catch up on like bills cleaning and all of that but how are you guys doing how was your Valentine's Day how are your kids on Valentine's Day um, did you guys get anything cool for from school or did they get super excited with the gifts you guys got definitely leave me a comment down below let me know how your Valentine's Day was cleaned I still have to finish the dishes I did most of the dishes right now clean the living room the dining room I just have to vacuum and there's a couple of things that I want to clean up I have not cleaned my work area it's still a mess but I was able to take a shower get ready I made this shirt which I'm going to be posting on my Etsy shop probably by the time you guys see this it'll be up I'm sorry about the glare I still have the broken phone so it's like I'm gonna have a glare on it but Think that this is really cute is like with the washed um blue color so it's kind of like a 
old school, like retro looking washed shirt. But I think it's really cute, simple, just with the white lettering. It came, this design came with colorful flowers, but I just, I don't know. I like how it looks more plain. That's just, I'm kind of more like a plain Jane. So I like it that way. But if you guys like it with a different color, let me know. I'm also going to have this in gray blue and i think there's like a purplish color i have to look at but yeah if you guys are interested you can inbox me on my instagram which is my work instagram for the shop or i'll have it up hopefully by the time you guys see this video you guys i never got to update you guys on my ear thing so the doctor said it was possibly a start of an ear infection so they prescribed me um antibiotics which i've been taking has not helped at all i did the whole nasal congestion stuff as well um so i'm taking that my nasal stuff is already gone my cough is gone everything's gone except my ear i cannot hear still even with the medication and it's driving me crazy because this ear it just feels like i'm underwater like I'm underwater and I hear that way. So sometimes I get louder or I lower my voice thinking that I'm talking louder. And then Anthony, whenever he tries to talk to me, I literally cannot hear him if I'm turned this way. So it's driving me crazy. I hope I can get that figured out soon because it's not going away with the antibiotics. I'm almost done taking them. It's not as bad as it was the first day, but I still can't hear. And I still hear like, like, like I'm underwater. That's how I feel. Or like I have a lot of water in my ear. It doesn't hurt or anything. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> Hopefully it goes away soon because it's driving me crazy. But yeah, I'm pretty much going to go pick up the little munchkin from school right now. And then I'm just going to end the vlog here or the little, the little vlog that I have. It's nothing too crazy or too big. But I'm going to end it here and... I'm probably going to try to go live this week with you guys. So if you guys want to do like a little live and chit chat, it's going to be probably when Emma is in school and Adrian's in school. Adrian started golfing again. Remember how he does golfing every year? So his golfing started. So my schedule and Emma's schedule is going to look a little bit different. So I have to get her used to the new routine that we have that we're going to be able to have. Now that we're going to have to pick him up from his after school um, golf team. So it's going to be different. We have to adjust to that as well. Um, but other than that, I don't I don't know if I want if I had anything else to update you guys on. There's like so much. I feel like I haven't um, caught up with you guys on so many things that I want to talk to you guys about. That's why I kind of want to do like a little live that way we can chit chat. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you guys. Have a blessed day and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.